Hi, hello there. It's uh, Sunday, March 18th, 2018. And, um, you know, one of the wonderful features of uh, Facebook when they're not uh, too busy stealing your data and, and, and finding out every little nook and cranny about your personal life and selling it for a profit is um, this feature where they um, let you see what you did um, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. And um, I noticed uh, today, uh, five years ago today, I had made a video called Seeing the Light. And that was the very first video I made of the 53,000 I've made since. That was probably the one that got the most reaction because I really went into just disgusting, brutal, exquisitely uh, neurotic detail of um, of my my life and um and that seven minutes uh talked about um you know i'd gone through a couple years earlier um and um the steps i had taken to uh to to to, to right the ship you know and to start swimming uh, upstream and um it did get a lot of a reaction and i think due to the fact at the time i think i had about 800 <laughs> facebook friends and uh um you know dwindled that down to about i think like a little lot of about maybe 50 at the most, 55, I don't know. And uh, of those 50, only a few um, can actually see like the things that I do. Um, I like to kind of be on the edge with the stuff that I, I like my objective. I think when I put something on Facebook, people would say if they even see it is like only one person would put that there. And I know I'm like one of the very, very few that does these type of things here. Um, where was I going? Oh yeah. So, um, yeah. So, um, five years. <laughs> so yeah. So the people, so in other words, where I was going with that was that, um, yeah, so now with, with like, uh, like a, a 20th of the people that I originally had, I don't get much reaction to anything I do anymore. And, um, that's okay with me. Um, but I do, I do like having this because, um, even though now it really doesn't matter what I say, it's like talking to, uh, talking to a brick wall basically, because this phone is made out of brick, but with a glass shield, kind of like Donald Trump with the wall, the see-through wall. But um, um, I, I, I know, um, you know, when I when I upload this to um, my uh, my YouTube, that'll if you two, however long YouTube lasts, um, that'll be there. And then when I'm long gone, hard to find, six feet under somewhere, um, that'll be um, what's left of, of uh, me, or either that, maybe at some point. Um, like now I can watch this stuff on my TV, which is kind of cool, you know, with the, uh, with the YouTube, but, um, you know, who knows, but, um, you know, I think it's kind of cool. Um, you know, uh, obviously, um, I think, uh, I went overboard with, with a lot of this stuff. Um, but you know, whatever it, it's, it's, I don't think it's hurting anybody. No, not hurting MSPCA and coming after me hurting anybody, but or any. <laughs> Any animals haven't been harmed or no humans either. So, uh, but yeah, I, I, kinda, I, I do wish uh, more, more of my Facebook friends, the ones that I kept around on my Facebook friends, um, actually were bringing stuff to the table. And I said, well, if I was bringing myself to the table and showing who I was, then I wanted other people to do likewise. And, um, you know, through Facebook, it's been great because I was able to meet my girlfriend through Facebook. Without Facebook, I don't have that. And, um, you know, in a roundabout way, I got my job because uh, I saw a posting for something that was at Fenway Park that I wanted to do um, on Facebook, and that led to um, the job I have now. So, um, yeah, I mean, to from a financial end and for, most importantly, my personal life, um, hey, you know, <laughs> you can't, can't knock that. And also, um, um, I like it's kind of a good release, you know, for me. Um, save a fortune on... Uh, laying on a couch and telling some shrink uh, all, all the issues rolling around in your head. And if you can just, if you just express yourself and say what you're thinking at the time, I think that's a good, uh, good enough therapy for yourself. Cause nobody going to tell you um, what's right and what's wrong. I mean, you, you have your own inner, inner compass that can figure that out. But if you talk it out then that's a good thing too. So um, yeah, so it was five years ago and uh, when I, when I made that first video and um, it's been, it's been a, a, a great uh, half decade. Um, and I think, um, you know, doing this stuff kind of uh, in the back of my mind, I mean, I don't want to, um, you know, somewhere down the road wind up in a, um, and bad, go back to some bad habits and wind up in a crack house or something five years from now and then, you know, look back at a video from five years earlier and go, where did it all go wrong? Because I'll have no teeth.
Um, so there's always that incentive to try to keep uh, uh, keep going forward. And um, you know, I went through that phase there where I lost a, a ton of weight. Now looking at this chin here, I think I'm putting a few of those pounds back. So um, like that's another thing when you when you see stuff over that time, you see you can see the changes. Ch -ch changes. Sorry, David. Um, and um, when you see that in, 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 in living color, um, it can be an inspiration to, to, um, to, to, you know, try to live healthier. But yeah, I, uh, you know, a lot of things, you know, I look back at five years, thing, there hasn't been any sort of, um, any type of catastrophe that would, um, you know, make me want to go back to anything, any, any sort of temptations that I did have in the past and why belabor what those were. Um, I've already done that enough in previous videos, but, um, you know, I mean, I, I met the perfect girl for me, you know, everybody got that perfect someone out there somewhere. You know, what if I met somebody that was on drugs or, or and, and, you know, I uh, had, had issues or had a lot of baggage or whatever. And, um, you know, my girl is just perfect, you know, and, um, I, I think she she doesn't know that, but she is, and um, you know she inspires me to try to reach some sort of level of not perfection, but just to be a good person. And um, I'm just really blessed to have her. And um, like I said, without this shit and doing stuff like this, um, you know, I don't I never meet her. And, um, and part of that was just showing who I was and and being on being on social media that I wasn't gonna just. If I was going to do it and, um, you know, I was going to bring something to the table other than, hey, look at this post, look at this, look at that, look at that. Well, hey, look at me, you know, uh, I'm flesh and blood. I'm out there. It's like cause everything else on, for the most part, and I wrote a status about that the other last week or whatever, where I wrote that, uh, you know, the great thing about Facebook is you come in and it's just full of ideas and people showing who they are or whatever. And, uh, you know, in parentheses, I wrote, said nobody ever. But, um I'd like to think I'm one of the one of the few that's done that, and I think I've tried to do that most of my life. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah. So when I saw that five years. I said, well, I gotta try to keep up that streak. So this would be titled uh, "Seeing the Light Five because I try to do one every year. I don't think I've had the exact date like I did this time, but thanks to that um, that little reminder today, um, you know, five years, man. Where's the time go? I'll tell you. Um, but usually I'm doing them on that, that bench at Copley Square where I used to spend a lot of time, but today I'm, uh, it's a Sunday, so I don't, uh, there's no reason for me to be down that area. So um, just doing it at my house. So um, anyway, I, I really, uh, um, you know, thank God for all the chances he gave me. And, um, you know, I'm not really a church goer or somebody that gets down on his knees to pray, but, um, you know, um, whoever's up there pulling the strings. <laughs> I thank him and, um, you know, I'm just grateful for all the blessings that I've had in my life and, um, you know, just got to stay humble and um, just keep uh, taking it one day at a time and um, just try to, when you put your head down on the pillow at the end of the night, try to say, you know, you did the best you could and, um, you know, what else can you do? So, all right, I'm done. They say when you go over five minutes, you lose people, but I think I lose people after five fifty seconds. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna upload it and uh, it'll be out there, you know, for a uh, hundred years from now. People want to know. Jeez, I wonder what made that guy tick. Because uh, they'll, they'll know. All right, I'm done, boy. That was. I'm sure that was inspiring. A regular Tony Robbins here. I'm done, and as usual, adios.